Hello and welcome to my tutorial on how to simply make an image look a little bit better. Now I'm going to be working with this image here of Phil Jones for Manchester United. Now I'm a Man United fan and that's why I have this image laying around. So I know I'm probably going to get a few comments of people saying stuff like oh change the shirt or whatever but this is just showing you a few really simple tricks on how you can make any picture look slightly better maybe slightly different so you have your image tool and you can make adjustments in here so brightness contrast is obviously the most simple one so you just go and change the brightness a bit dim contrast add some contrast however you want to go so we'll add about 35 brightness and I'll stick in a 25 contrast so as you can tell this has been subtly changed so I'm actually gonna open up this image again. Oops, I've got the same image saved as something different actually, I think. So I can open that up and I can swap between the two so you can get a look at each one. So, um, well, that second one's actually a bit better quality, but I'll, I'll carry on work with this one. So, another tool which I find really useful, and a lot of you may know this, um, but this is just something that kind of works fairly well so if you duplicate the layer a few times so now I've got the same picture four times so if I take them all away and I put the first one in you can change its um hmm, I don't really know what you'd want to call this but you can you can mess around with this tool I guess so let's see if I add an overlay see you, it changes the color ever so it changes it slightly I can add soft light I can darken it so I can add darken I could Multiply that darker doesn't have seem to have done much actually. Multiply it, there we go. And then you can stick another layer on top and you can change this slightly so you can add an overlay. And it, it just starts adding a, some different layers to the image and creating a different sort of look and style. And in the end, you can take what you had and completely change it from how it originally was. So there we go. I've messed, I've changed it up a bit, made it look a bit, give it a bit more of a shine, give it a bit of a photo make it look ed edited and it was really simple so th so I'll probably much going to leave it there but obviously you've got all these different adjustments that you can look at um, and you can change the levels and the curves and whatever um, yeah so there's plenty you can do there um, I might as well tell you about this other little tool um, which is the Who Saturation tool. So you can bring this open by pressing Control and U or Command and U, depending on whether you're using a Mac or Windows. And in here you can colorize an image. So I can add a nice bit tint of green to my image of Phil Jones, or whatever you want to do. So that that's another really useful tool. And you can select like areas. And so if I take that and I copy it into a new layer. I can modify just the color of that area, which obviously, as you can imagine, could be a really useful tool. But obviously, the way I've demonstrated it there, it isn't showing any use. But I, I may do a video later on. But this was just a really quick tutorial on how you can quickly edit a photo and make it look a bit different. So that's my edited one, and this is the original. So you can you can you can see the difference there. So I hope this helped you all out. Um, if you have any questions or comments, just comment. <laughs> and if you enjoy my videos, then please subscribe. Thank you.